Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Cheetor figure. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to open them up in a second and have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at them in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display them. I'll show you the accessories that come with them and again how you can use them in both modes. And we can also do some comparisons with him and now some of the other figures that have been released a lot later that have shared his mold so before we get started i'd like to dedicate this video to a subscriber david ct he always comments on loads of my videos so i hope he likes this very much so this box has obviously already been opened but before we open it let's have a quick look here at the beautiful artwork on this box and again i said this in lots of my kingdom videos um it's just fantastic and it's so good that they've started really taking you know to th to basically make the box look amazing. They did it with G1, it was brilliant. Um, and it's, yeah, it's great, especially for people who collect in boxes. Um, we've got the lovely Kingdom artwork there, and there on the back, we can see that it's going to take 20 steps. So let's open him up. Everything's still inside, um, including the weapon, and funnily enough, including the card. I love that eye there, I only noticed that quite recently considering they've been releasing these this particular figure came out in 2020 so it's over two years old already and it's quite funny that i've only just sort of noticed that so i put it back in as best i can um, i've got the tail there and as i say we've even got the card in here as well so let's have a look which one we've got that looks like black oh no it's a predacon yeah it is black arachnia we'll put that somewhere safe and again we've got the standard black, white, and green um, instructions. Because I don't have to cut him out, we can go straight into some first impressions. And yeah, these fig, you know, I've gotta confess, the beast figures didn't really interest me at first, but I've just slowly sort of fell in love with them. I think they're great. I think the transformation processes are quite tricky, quite intricate, um, but yeah, very, very clever. So let's have a look. This is, of course, based on his Beast Wars appearance. Um, 25 year anniversary from Beast Wars again when this came out. We've got a lovely head sculpt there. We can turn it up, yeah, turn it all the way around. You can see it's on like a ball there. So you've got full range of motion, backwards and forwards, side to side. You can see we've got quite a lot of movement in the shoulder again all around, but it is hindered by the back of the beast there. We do have a waist swivel. We've got hips, side, front, knee flexion, ankle rock, tilt well ankle backwards and forwards rather loads and loads of articulation and just as much in the other mode as well which is of course um the alternate mode and it's quite it's good again that they've got so much articulation in both modes here is of course his tail stroke lance stroke whip whatever you want to call it and what we're going to do now then we're going to have a detailed look at him in his alternate mode first Right then, so here's the alternate mode. Quick apologies for no transformation process on this video. That will be uploaded separately. Um, to keep the length of the video down, and not to spoil it for people who still want to have a go at it themselves. So again, like I mentioned in the first impressions, there's so much articulation, even in this particular mode. So you've got what would be, I suppose, the shoulders, the knees, the ankles, in the front legs, and indeed the same with the hind legs. You've got all of this movement. I've deliberately not attached the tail yet. You can see there where the port is for you to then attach this. Blue, obviously facing down, not facing up, otherwise it'd look like that. Uh, push this into position there, and yeah really poseable with regards to the mouth you can his expression changes just very simply by how you open the mouth he looks quite content there and of course if you open it he looks i suppose a bit more aggressive uh, there's detail on you know of the fur all the way around it um again great great alternate mode impressed with this guy and again can't believe he's two years old already crazy right then we're going to round this up by looking at him in his robot mode with the accessories and do some comparisons okay back for the final time in his robot mode and that is because that's how i'm going to be displaying him so we've got the whip again tail lance you've got two ways to hold this you can of course hold it this way around if you want to it'll just attach into his hand like that or you can of course take it turn it around and it's a little bit more like an axe now Oh, there you go. Well, it looks definitely looks a lot more menacing to me. Again, great detail here. I like the way it all pieces together. Again, just be aware 
of the plastic inside. You'll see in the transformation process of just to be careful not to damage the tiny bit of plastic that it um, is held together with. So this again is only two years old, but he's had quite a lot of uses of that mold already in that time. So we've got the Netflix version of him, which is exactly the same, just a different color. Um, I think then we had, yeah, we did. So we had Shadow Panther, I'm sure that's his name, was next. Again, a different head sculpts. Then we had the latest one. So this is Legacy. This is Night Prowler. I'm hoping I'm getting these right. I should be really, shouldn't I? I'm doing the reviews. And then this one isn't a full use of the mold, but it is a use of his legs. Is that going to balance? Come on, balance for me. And this was, of course, Covert Agent Ravage. So they just used Cheetor's legs for this guy. Um, and I dread to think how many more repaints and reuses of this mold we are going to get in the future. But there you go, guys. That was the original one. That was especially for David CT. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at it. And again, you never know. You might be a little bit, a little bit like me. Um, decide to go back and get some of the figures that you've missed. So hopefully this has helped with your decision. If you do so, let me know, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.